Okay. Are we live? And yes, we are. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So. A couple things. Uh, one. I finished a lot of the requests. The only ones I didn't finish were the ones for the, like, big, big, strong enemies. Hey, kids. Uh. <laughs> Can't say I expected a bunch of annoying little rugrats to be so caring. Thanks that. Got to see a con I smile again. That LeBlanc curry is the real deal. I know all I've done is rely on you guys, so allow me to clean this up once all's said and done. Appreciate you letting me off the hook by then. I almost forgot. A con I kept bugging me about getting you guys a gift. So here, this is from us. It's a police baton keychain, of course. <laughs> kind of weird to give a police baton to the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me. I thought it looked good on you. Kind of cool sticking on to some overpowered creep with something so simple. Hero makes the weapon, not the other way around. You know, back in the day, fugitives become detectives all the time. Maybe you should try becoming an officer yourself. Uh, ah, if I feel like it. That's it. Is that right? When the day comes, I'll be the one giving the orders, you hear? Hey. You guys helped me find something I'd lost a long time ago. If, later on down the road, you find you're in a similar place, don't know what to do, well, let me know. I'll be the man I should have been back then. Wow, thanks. Uh, what's this item do? Well, it's an equivable item. So what's it do? Uh, where is it? Police baton. Oh, baton keychain. Reduce physical damage high. Cool. Proof of Zenkichi's appreciation. Oh, that's nice. So, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, probably just the end. We moving out? Okay. Yush. We go. Time we put a stop to Emma's server for good. Technically, this is the end. You did, oh, right. Turns off the skip by automatic. Thank you for rescuing Akane. And me too. Nah, it's all good. You just keep trying your best, old man. Yeah, there is. You know it. I swear I'm going to throw every crime he's committed right in his face. I'm sure he's wigging out and trying to hide behind some other baddies. But that won't stop my Good. You'll get him cornered no matter what. Busting good, Zenkichi. Don't let him slip away. Bustin makes me feel good. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the rising star at PubSec now. Yeah, lame officer. Oh, look at that nerd. And stop on by whenever you want. I know Akane'd be thrilled. Looking forward to it. The next visit will be a lot more easy going. I'll even show you around Kyoto. Cool, we can have that stupid art thing, Yos or Yusuke. What I, I, I called him Yosuke. Oh no, I feel bad. <sighs> there he goes. Yes, yes. I know we can finish this. I'm sure he'll see it through to the tougher end. Yeah, thank God. You can only imagine how worried Boss must be. All right, Sojiro. Yeah, we didn't stay in one place. I hope the opportunity to do it again comes soon. This trip ruled. Oh. Yeah, it's a good point.
I mean, that's entirely possible. As a TM. Except Ryuji, he doesn't think. Ryuji's the only one who doesn't have a thinking cap. Put Sophia into the car and then she drives itself. Be quiet the ways uh, back to Tokyo. All the way back to Shibuya. Oh, cool. We're almost home. Damn. That's right. Oh yeah, it did. Huh. Now it's like a second home. Hey, it's a second base. One last tour of the whole country. <laughs> we we, we got to face reality, lady. We we can't do that. Stuff for you she forgot to do and you on You said it a year ago, too. Don't let a mere year or two of being held back crush your spirits. Wait, we know. We're all graduating together, right? Well, I know I'm graduating. I don't know about you two. You two can stay back in high school making out and whatever. Okay, Mother Makoto. No. Unless you want to be outed. Are we going to study? Oh. Where are we going? Oh yeah, we never did watch fireworks. Last time we watched fireworks, it rained. Yeah. Light them up, baby. Bang, bang. That's fine. We're in Yokohama. Oh dang, this looks nice. So where exactly are we? I can smell the ocean. Oh, isn't this Ocean View Park? I came here for Ocean View Park. Ugh. We are park. Fifteen minutes on foot from the festival grounds. Only fifteen minutes. Why do we put on our yukata first? They're perfect for the occasion. Did you actually pack one? Oh, right. I forgot about that. Truly an exemplary summer in Japan. Will you be all right, Yeah, I'm way stronger than before. Plus, all of you are with me. In that case, I see. What? For real? Oh. The traffic on our route is currently heavy. To watch the fireworks from an optimal location, we must depart now. I guess no, you caught a. All sorts of stuff to do to get ready. Find us a good spot. You're coming with us, Meow Ghana. Meow Ghana. Bringing, bringing that back. We've got it, ladies. We got it in the bag. Here's the last night of the trip and all. See you in a bit. Make the most of our last night together. Hey. Level 50 of probably 99. Clear skies this time. What a relief, right? There's no oh. subtitles. There they are. Hmm? Sorry, we're late. Oh, no, th there are subtitles. No, no. Perfect timing. I think it's about to stop. There it is. 
Oh good, Morgana didn't say anything about on again. Cause he does that every time. Literally every time, but this looks nice. Kaboom foam tastic. The perfect scene of summer. No. You'll go blind. That's why I wear glasses. I got a firework shot in my face. Boom, boom. Gaming? Yes, gaming. We gaming up in here. Botan was quite the spectacle. So what now was a spectacle, Inari? <laughs> Fireworks are named after the display they create, such as oh. Botan and Kamaru Biku, which are the flowers they resemble. What a nerd. That's a Botan. It was much more amazing than the recordings I found online. I want to see all the other types of fireworks. <laughs> well, <laughs> in order for that. Don't you hate crowds and stuff, though? Well. You need to do a lot of fireworks training in order to see all of them. We've got all the time in the world now. That's right. Miss the Miss the Goat Kanoe arc. Yeah, that 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 was last stream actually. It was so good, but I literally had to take a break as soon as we got to this trauma cell. Uh, wait, what? Oh. I don't want to go back. It's boring back in... <laughs> well, actually, actually, I'm not living in the coffee shop anymore. So that makes it even more boring. I'm not living in a coffee shop. Yeah. Counter-Strike is godlike? The, the skill? Or, or, or are you just trying to promote like CSGO or something? Be like, yo, you should play CSGO. It's godlike. Oh, the song. I don't remember which one's Counter Strike. <laughs> I, I honestly don't remember which one that is. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, that's the name of the song that plays in Kanoe's second phase? Yeah, I really like that one. I... I, I remember the last stream uh, when we were fighting Kanoe. I was saying that... Uh, that it would have worked uh, uh, pretty good if it uh, played the Counter-Strike first in the first phase. And then the second phase, it's Rivers in the Desert as he's walking out of the fire. You just start hearing the opening riff. He's getting ready for battle pose. That would have been so cool. But the way that it played out, I I honestly like that boss. It, it's probably my favorite so far. Kind of for the same reasons I like the Shido fight. A lot. The last chance to share any special memories of the trip. Eh, yeah, might as well talk to everyone. It's the second best boss in the game after the final boss, in your opinion? Well, I will have to see what the final boss is, or who, or what sort of god it's going to be. I know I'm not there yet, but the final boss of this game is honestly incredible. Well, that makes me very excited. Because a lot of the times when it comes to these, like, Muso games or whatever, like, the final bosses are kind of underwhelming. Like, from the ones that I played, at least. Like, uh... Yeah, yeah. Ganon in the original Hyrule Warriors is just... Like, he's cool, but... Sort of just a rehash of all the other bosses in the one. Uh... Calamity Ganon's kind of the same way, and he's just as lame. Uh... Let's see, I played one of the One Piece ones. Uh, oh yeah, it was number three. That's the one where it goes up to dress Rosa. Uh, that's kind of lame. Also, I completely forgot to read the entire uh, thing, but they're just reminiscing, I guess. 
This is your first Warriors game. Honestly, if you want my recommendation, I would recommend the original Hyrule Warriors. That game is fantastic, if you ask me. To this day, it is still my favorite. Like, despite what all this does, and just how it changes up the normal formula, I would still say that is my favorite. I play One Piece or Calamity at some point. Uh... The One Piece ones are pretty good, especially if you know the story of them. Uh, haven't played the fourth one, don't really have any interest to. But from what I know, it skips a lot and it writes its own ending to the current arc. Age of Calamity is fine. I didn't like it too much compared to probably some other people. I just thought it was too bland and protective. But I think that's just because it's confined in the Breath of the Wild world. Uh, so Morgana's just like, oh yeah, yeah, we had a good time, good memories all around. Uh, he, he's being a third tier sub right to On's face, or you know, or you know, just as he usually does. <laughs> Her smile really is my own treasure. Yep. Hope we stick together for a good long time. Well, I mean, you are living with me, so it's not like uh. It's not like you're going anywhere. It's not like Teddy where he just stays in Juness forever. Because he's an idiot. You could ever survive. <laughs> I'm 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 sorry, what? If you went easy on me? No. I'm the strongest protagonist. I killed God twice. Or a form of God. And I'll do it again. It's a bright, luxurious scarf. I'll give you some, to, you know, commemorate the trip. Sophia helped me picking it out in the ordering. Scarf for the Phantom Thieves signature color. Uh, all the characters here will give you a good accessory if you talk to them. I've done their side quests earlier in the game. Good! Okay, so there is something for that. And luck lucky I did all those. The only request I have not done up to this point is uh, probably a couple more of the... Uh, uh, Velvet Room ones, like where you gotta fuse a certain kind, and uh, the really strong uh, shadows that um, I believe those unlock the Reaper. I don't remember if it's the strong enemies or uh, or if it's the dire ones that unlock the Reaper. But I know one of those do, but good. But thank you for the scarf. I want to check it out. These are from Sophia. They're a pair of fine embroidered gloves. Just like the one Akechi gave me. But it just is bedazzled. She wanted to thank Mia. That made specifically for you to best express my gratitude. She compliment the scarf nicely. What great mm -hmm. keepsakes. He's a fan. I am a fanboy of this new Phantom Thief merch. Thank you. <laughs> Still calling him Meow Ghana. He's not calling me a raccoon anymore. Yeah, yeah, I remember that was like the first few encounters. He would just be called a raccoon. That That's like a, the Japanese thing of everyone calling a small animal. Uh... Uh, calling all of them a tanuki. Gotta do all the Velvet Room, Dire Shadow, and boss rematches after beating the final boss uh, to fight the Reaper. And unlock New Game Plus. Oh, okay. Alright. It's tedious, but New Game Plus is fun. Oh, that's good. That, uh, that's better than most games, actually. Unfortunately... Um, I won't be streaming New Game Plus, but that is good to know. At, as much fun as it would be for me to fight the Reaper and die a million times, even at level 99. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No thanks. I'll do it on my own. 
could keep all your overpowered personas, but the enemy started like level 75. Ooh, that that's really good. That's better than like normal personas, new game plus. And they have new affinities, you say. Well, that certainly changes things up. <laughs> I like the idea of this new game plus, and I'm excited to get around to it. That's cool. Like, as much as I love uh, the other versions of, of these Persona games, like, when you do New Game Plus, it's basically the same game, except you can bring in your overpowered enemies. And it's not like it really changes much, if you ask me. But if, if it does that much, that's really good. We three jails into New Game Plus. Find it more fun than the base game. I, I I believe with stuff like that, it's just the added challenge that really make it more fun. Because a lot of people do like a good challenge. Um. Oh yeah, Ryuji's just recounting his time here. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, uh, the challenge and stuff. Uh, where was I going? Yeah. Um. But when a game has a new game plus and it's like extra, extra difficult. Like uh, the best way for me to describe it in terms that I know, it's like when you play a Devil May Cry game and it tells you play the hard mode. And in the original game or in, in original Devil May Cry, it would immediately put you into hard mode. And that's pretty fun. I always love stuff like that. Uh, there's just a lot of appeal. Being able to span overpowered personas, yet still have the game be super difficult. Okay, well, that's also a plus. Because even if... Uh, even if they did scale like with the game and you can spam your overpowered personas, a problem with the New Game Plus thing a lot of the times is uh, that the game becomes easier because you have literally the top tier units. So... That's really good. I think... Uh, I know uh, like Persona 4 has that problem a little bit. Which is literally how I did my playthrough when I made my review of that game. Uh, cause after a while, I just went into the velvet room and be like, okay, here's my overpowered Beelzebub. Everything died in one hit, except bosses. Yes. So Yusuke here is upset that we didn't get to visit the art in Kyoto like he wanted. Oh well, too bad, nerd. Oh, and what'd you get me? Uh, all you could do in Royal was the super bosses. You like this approach way more? Yeah, I, I do too. Uh. Oh, right, yeah, because in Royal, uh. They had, like, two new, uh, super bosses, actually. Because, uh, because you were always able to fight the twins. I don't remember if you were able to fight Lavenza before. Because I know that there's the twins, Lavenza, Jose. And then the challenge bosses of uh, of uh, Makoto from P3 and uh, Narakami from P4. But those are like challenge modes, so they're not technical bosses. Okay, so I was right. You can fight Jose on a first playthrough. It's just tedious. Oh, all right. I kind of like that. that. That's funny. I guess, like, technically the only ones you, or the only things you couldn't do on, like, a first playthrough would be, like, fight, uh, most of the super, or, actually, yeah, ba basically you could only fight one of the super bosses, if I can remember, because the twins, uh, I know in original they were locked behind New Game Plus, and then, uh, 
And then I don't know anything about the requirements for Lavenza, but I imagine it's after a certain point that you can access her fight. Uh, you need like 123 memento stamps, just takes forever on a first playthrough. I think I got that many, actually, I think I got more than that. I almost got all the stamps on my first playthrough. The only ones I didn't get were in the new section uh, during the final dungeon, but that's just because I was trying to speed through that portion of the game. I didn't really care. And a lot of the enemies I could just run through thanks to uh, Ryuji's insta-kill. I just need a secure route in the very final palace, then go into memento. Okay, all right. I see. That makes sense. So she's not locked behind any sort of like New Game Plus wall. Got it. Oh, yep. Yeah, we went Zunda hunting in Sendai. Yeah, that that was a fun quest. Oh, she's still New Game Plus? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. All right. That, that was my mistake. <laughs> I guess I should assume since the twins were uh, were New Game Plus that Lavenza would also be New Game Plus. So. Uh, she's so brutal that it would be near impossible on a first playthrough anyway. Oh, I see. Okay. Lavenza, the true final boss of, of Persona. Forget Yaldabaoth, forget Adam Cadmon and Azatoth and all those losers. <laughs> it's, it's the freaking Lolly Warden. It's it's the very small attendant. Actually, speaking of Lavenza. L L Lolly greater than God. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But like, uh, one thing I'm curious to find out is uh, uh, whenever I get to the P5 dancing game that I want to play, uh, I'm curious on how the twins work in that game. Because I've seen video footage of the twins and I've seen video footage of Lavenza both in that game on different tracks. I don't know how that would work, but I'm curious to find out, like, because, um, because I know that, like, P4 dancing takes place, uh, technically before the golden ending, in a sense, or it's in, like, the last few weeks before, uh, before Narakami goes home, or something like that. Because the way that uh, spin-off games work are confusing for some reason. Uh, <laughs> Persona Q. Because <laughs> apparently a game can take place in two weeks during a typhoon in the mind. Dancing is considered a dream. Or is, or is considered canon, but it's a dream, so it doesn't matter. Are you serious? That's amazing. Now I want to find out this stuff. It's awesome. Ooh, we get a magnet. That, that's actually really funny. Like, what the hell? It takes place like a week after- Are you kidding? That's so lame! What? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, that's funny. Now I'm even more excited to play that one. The only one I'm not going to play right now is, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, that one, Moonlight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight because I have not actually played P3. So I don't want to... So, like, I don't want to really spoil myself too much. But then again, I'm just a weirdo who likes to not be spoiled on many of things. 
Like, I know all the party members. I know about uh, Revolver Jesus. Classic, classic character. <laughs> um... I know about, uh, uh, there's a character named Nyx, I believe, that, like, supposed to bring the apocalypse, or I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> it's kind of hard to not be spoiled. Well, I've avoided a lot! <laughs> so, um, yeah. The, the only thing I don't really know is just, like, what the characters are like and how certain events play out. That, that, that's the only thing I don't really know about that game. And I haven't even touched Personas 1 and 2, like, and I don't plan on touching them for a little while. At least, like, not, not here on, on the Twitch, but maybe, I don't know. I, I... I've said I wouldn't do something before, and then I immediately did it. That's how we got to this game. So. So, honestly, I don't even know if I should trust my own word. <laughs> on certain things. But, whenever that may come, I'm sure it'll be a good time. So, Haru's remembering Sapporo. And the time we had there. She totally doesn't remember how she almost murdered us all while driving. Like, not at all. Because she was totally fine with it. It's just like, oh, I was just driving normally. Which is still a hilarious scene. <laughs> my, my, my favorite part about that entire scene is just, like, when Haru is getting ready to drive and it starts playing the, like, super menacing villain music. <laughs> this game's so fucking funny. Yeah, it really is. There, there have been many a times during these streams that I have legitimately laughed out loud. So loud that I have to, like, cover my mouth so that way I don't... That way I'm not super loud to the people in my house. There's something about the writing here and the delivery of all the actors. Um. And just how everything is presented that just makes it hilarious. Like, it's funnier than probably any Persona game so far. I uh, love how Makoto the entire game... Shows that she knows something about Haru's driving, but we never find out until then. It's the best set setup and payoff for a joke ever. <laughs> no, yeah, I, 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 I like to imagine that, uh, that like Makoto knows because she probably uh, let Haru drive a little bit in Mementos, and she just, uh, she drove so crazy. She's just like, no, no. Like, like, they just went in there one day at random. Like, without the rest of the team. And they're just like, hey, Morgana, you want to come with us? Like, okay. Also, this explains why Haru crashed the Mona car during the... That's right. Oh my god, that's right. She did... And no wonder she was such a reckless driving around. I I thought that was just Morgana running away as the car. And but then but then I remembered like as as soon as I said that, like in my mind I'm like, "Wait a minute. No, he's just a car. He needs someone to drive him." It, it's little stuff like that that really makes playing these games worth it. Like not just uh like, like, not just this one, uh, or just Persona in general, but I mean games with, like, multiple, uh... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how do I say it? Games with, like, a lineage that connect to each other. Which is why I love stuff like Yakuza, and which I, uh, which, and why I like stuff like, uh, 
a bunch of Mario games. Like, they share a bunch of enemy types, layouts, soundtracks, all, all that kind of stuff. Game truly does feel like a sequel to P5 and Royal, which I appreciate so much. Yes. And going back again to a mention uh, in from the last stream, uh, I think I got a pretty hard confirm that uh, the development of Royal did happen. Super hard as that entire fight. They're basically just like, I'm not going to accept your reality. People need to think for themselves. You, you can't control people's lives. And I had to pause the game. And I'm just like, hmm. Don't that sound familiar? Don't it? <laughs> Luckily, I played Royal on stream beforehand. So it's not like I was really spoiling much. And the whole thing's uploaded on YouTube. Uh... On a place where I re-upload all my streams. So. So if you didn't watch it. Or you didn't play it. Then. I, I, mean, I don't know what to tell you at that point. The only thing. I still don't have an answer for. What happened. To Kasumire. And that is what I call her. Kasumire. Whatever happened to her. Hey. Unless she just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> she 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 got mind wiped out of the canon, I guess. But oh well. That's fine. She'll, she'll, she'll probably show up if they ever make uh, Persona 5 Arena. As like an extra character. Actually, that's something I'd like to think about. Like, like who would show up? Like, besides the Phantom Thieves and, of course, Akechi. Like, would the royal characters show up? Would, uh... Would, um, uh... Uh, a Zenkichi show up? Like, 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 that's, like, that's what I'm curious about. Because that'd be cool. See those characters in a fighting game. I don't know. Uh, Samira was never a true fan of Thief. She joined uh, the third semester because the matter was personal to her. That's your explanation? True. But despite not being a true fan of Thief, she did interact with the group a lot. And in fact, they acknowledge her existence like whenever they just come across. It's, it's not like Marie in Persona 4 where she's just like, okay, well, when this character's not on screen, everyone should be like, where's Marie? Like, they actually are concerned with her, with her well-being and her struggles as we, as we, and they mention her a, quite a bit just when she comes up in anything. And they're like, oh shit, uh, are we going to help or what? I, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's interesting because she is a real person. I don't know. Maybe we'll get an explanation or, like most things in Persona, we will get no explanation. Oh, well. And yes, we do need a friend. She's a friend of the fan of these, but they do have very different ideals. You know what? Yes, that, that is true. That is 100% true. Actually, now that I think about it, we not only need a P5 arena, but we need a re-release of P4 arena. Ultimax. Not vanilla. Ultimax. Because I know if I say just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, release uh, P4 Arena. No, you need the definitive version. I'm not having no uh, downgraded version. <laughs> <laughs> Basically tell Makoto is just like, but I want to drive. But, uh, yeah, uh, going back to Arena, I guess. Like, I have always advocated for re-release of an older, older fighting games like that. Because we can get like a million ports of like KOF, uh, 2000 or whatever. We 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 can get as many Street Fighter Anniversary collections as we need till the end of time. But there are certain fighting games that we just don't get that many versions of. 
Like, where's my re-releases of uh, CVS? Capcom, pl please re-release CVS or make a new one because those games are great. <laughs> I, I, I want to fight with Kyo and uh, Zangief in the same battle. Please. Make it happen, and everyone complain on Twitter about it. Knowing Atlas, they'd probably port uh, for Arena alongside a re-release of 5 Arena. I don't know! Some reason, like, I'm of the belief that when it comes to Atlas re-releasing their older games and such, like, they're sort of out of touch. Like they did with... Okay, all right. That's actually true. Yeah. And now, uh, and if you get the Endless Night collection, like I did, right here, that's the only way you can play, uh, P4 Dancing without a Vita. And I don't want to play, or I don't want to buy a Vita just for that. Though I'd probably buy it again anyways if I ever did get a Vita or a PSP or whatever. But, like, there's also the fact that it took them forever to re-release P4 on something that wasn't the Vita. And, uh, and then they finally realized after it did so well on Steam, they're just like, Yeah, we should probably do this more often. It made us a lot of money and people really like it. Yeah, no shit! You re-released one of the greatest or most important RPGs of all time and, oh. and of course you're going to get good reception. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, people actually like our games? <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Oh, Sophia wants something now. One last request for you all. Alright, what is it? Uh, what do you want? Yeah, come on, what do you want? Dots. You take a group photo? Sure. Morgana, take the picture. You're not important. People take pictures to capture the moments they want to remember, so they can look back and recall what happened or how they felt. Soon everyone will have to go their own way, which means we'll be splitting up. So that's why. Good choice. Is there really any question? It's a marvelous idea. Sounds like a great memento of our trip. <laughs> how should we pose? Indeed. Hmm. Just do one of those... One that encompasses everything we've experienced on the trip. Start start doing Ginyu poses, everyone. If, <laughs> if Morgana can throw darts, he can take a phone. That's something I've always found hilarious and confusing. How the hell can he throw a freaking dart as a cat? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You can't even pick up anything. You have no thumbs. Well, yes, yes. Cats have different eyes. You don't have any depth perception. What the fuck? I don't know. It's funny. If we all jump with the pictures taken, that'd be really fun. Wait. Oh, all right. The this has to be a mini discussion. Imagine if Sophia was in Royal. How the fuck would she throw a dart? Okay. Actually, wait. If anything, Joker would just throw the darts twice and be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." It's for Sophia. And just be like, "Wait, what? The 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 phone? Why are you throwing darts for a phone?" And he just keeps landing bullseyes each time. He's just like. <laughs> who who who's Sophia? And he pulls out his phone and it's just blank. <laughs> Instead of Sophia just being there, he's just like, no guys, look, I I, I have this AI AI on my phone. And they just look at him all crazy. Uh it'd be hilarious. Also, this discussion of everyone taking the picture is kinda weird. Also, yeah, Z Zenkichi's not here, so it's not a full group photo. Drag him into a pic next time we see him. Technically, uh, technically speaking, um, 
Wait, wait, whose phone are they going to take it with now that I think about it? Like, are they going to take it with Joker's phone? Or are they going to take it with Ons or what? Okay, all right, good. They, they answered that question right away. Awesome. Thank freaking God. Snap, that's going in my cringe compilation. Once we depart from here, we'll be on the road back to Tokyo. Let's go. Yeah, I spoke to everyone, so we're good to go. Why do you need to text everyone? You literally could just call them. No, there won't. <laughs> Time to crack open those books, boy. Yes, we must all return to our own paths and stay focused on our goals. And Yusuke, you gotta focus on your money problems. They're ten feet away, why text? That, that's what I'm saying. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Is it Awada who has it? Also, like how Yusuke started the game with fat cash is now broke again. I mean, he has to be broke at all times. Like, like, like it's just part of his character. Uh, it, 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 it reminds me of uh, oh, oh, when the man uh, Tevin did did his tier list of uh, Persona characters based on their credit. Yusuke was down in the bottom tier. He can't save money for shit. <laughs> My man Yusuke was down there with freaking Shiho and Mishima, I think. <laughs> they ain't got good credit, man. Alright, so let's see what Zenkichi's got to tell us about. No. What happened? Sophia, pull up the news. My word. Did Okumura die again? Breaking news on the virtual assistant Emma, despite recent claims of being shut down, it appears an unidentified system malfunction is preventing. Please tell me Emma is the next boss. I would love that. I would love if we had to take down the app. Boss fight Siri for real. Oh, it's so good. Literally, we fight Siri. It's got a mind of its own. It's an AI. It's become sentient. Yeah, yeah. Does someone reboot it? Oh no, not technology. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Call the Navy. I'm sorry, your call can't be reached at this time. <laughs> Senkichi, Emma's taken over the Navy! Not the Navy! <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we got to get this situated ASAP, man. I'm sensing an immense power. Where's Goku? He'd be really excited to fight it. Be happy to get the Tokyo Radio Tower. Oh, Lavenza, what's up? Is this the great calamity you told me about again? We go. What do you got? Oh, I don't like that. 
What's going on, woman? A true abomination. Its writhing grass spreading across the land. Oh. See the second coming of the evil that rent me asunder, that locked away even my master. Oh, so that's why he's gone. No, no. But why is it different? Just calm down. All you gotta do is calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get Igor back and then he's gonna be a playable character. And then you're gonna be like a summon. God, imagine if you could actually play as Igor. Oh, that'd be cool. Er, Earl of Enza. Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. I shall return your favor by offering the full capabilities of one who rules over power. Allow mm -hmm. me to introduce two new forms of execution. Whoa, 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 two forms. And the Pentad fusion are now available for your benefit. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Okay, the, the freaking introducing two new types instead of one. Slow your roll, game. You may attain some of the most powerful personas imaginable. Now I get fuse the broken stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine that's what it was. Alright. Deep within the core of the calamity. A paradoxical glimmer of hope. As minuscule as that glimmer may be. I believe a I'm curious. force of the same origin will be the key to dispelling the calamity. Mm. I apologize for keeping you. Shall we begin? Yeah, pl please, please, let me see what I can fuse that's broken. Okay, yep. Uh, Yoshitsune. Oh, oh, that's a four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Uh. Oh, Dominion's available now. Uh, okay, whatever. Any real good ones? No. Oh no! Wait, I already had stuff. Yeah, I'm unable to decide because none of these I really have any interest in. Slash, I don't care right now. Oh hey, look, a bunch of requests. What else is new? Bond time. Uh, recall recovery. Actually, I never really bothered to get this. I don't know why I didn't get this. This is a really good skill. I want to buy it. Oh. That's why. At least I have it. Okay, so what's these requests now? Prison mail. Trumpeter Radia ran. Oh, cool. I have that. Trapped in dystopia, delivered forgotten desire. Okay. Uh, junk collection. Okay, yep, I can do that. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Uh, I could do the rest of those later. Welcome. Oh, what recipe? The, the the cooking recipe? I see. Well, I should probably get that recipe then. ASAP. It's an AoE heap. I'm sorry, do you want to repeat that for me? Because I, 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 I thought I heard something incredibly good, but I could be wrong. Did you just say it's an AoE heat riser, but as an item? So kind of like, um, uh, uh, oh, what's that skill? Uh, 
Oh, God. Hey, we keep resin here. Uh, oh. Okay. That, uh. It smells like best item in the game right there. Let's go. Let's go. Definitely not best item in the game right there. Huh. Need to head to the tower. Okay. Let's get to work. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns, I guess. Oh, cool. Regenerate three. Ah, cool. Uh, I could do all these later. Ooh. Ooh, I love that fight. Wolf part two. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that later. Oh, no. I need to hit go to next city. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is like big, big point. It's time. Ah. Okay, j j j just give me a moment. Where can I get this? Oh, not that. You're accepting this request? Time to get to work. You're already working on this one. Oh, wait, that's easy. Hold on, I can do that in like two seconds. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I can do that forever. Oh, there's the magnet right there on the fridge in the blue. Yeah, uh, no, I'm gonna get that recipe because that is insane. Why would I not get that? Who do I like playing as so far? Uh, Wolf's really fun. Y Yusuke is my favorite just because he is Virgil from Devil May Cry. Uh, Skull has some pretty good moves, but... But he's just more like a, a brain cells go burr type thing. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Fuck. Uh, let's see. Uh, the only ones I really don't like playing as, uh, personally, I don't like playing as uh, Morgana or Makoto. Like, just about everyone is really fun, and of course Joker's gonna have everything because he, cause, cause he's the trickster. But I really don't like Makoto. I speak to win. There we go. Uh, Morgana's fun to you. Uh, because his combos are cool. Koto's fun. She's easily the worst character. No, I... I, I I, I would be inclined to agree with you on that point, that that she is the worst in the game. Like, I would not disagree. Like, like if I ever made a tier list, uh, it would be pretty cut and dry. Uh, the best team, or at least in your opinion, is, uh, Zenkichi, Sophia, uh, Yusuke, Haru. And, and you can just interchange the two. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Because, uh, because Zenkichi would be, uh, both DPS and a buff, or, and, and the support buffer. Um, uh, Yusuke and Haru would be mainly DPS, and Sophia would be magic slash heal. 
Y Yusuke is insane? Yeah, he is. He's a freaking monster. Like, bruh. It's crazy. Speed's an amazing buff in this game. Bro, you have no idea how good it is. Holy crap. Ah, crap. Uh, optimal play is probably Yusuke for bosses and horror for jail runs. Yeah? Actually, thinking about that. Yeah, because Yusuke, uh, he's... He, 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 he's for one got the counter... Two, he's got, uh, he's got a lot of skills that'll, like, get boss, uh, uh, stun gauges down pretty quickly, or, or just e efficiently at least. Um, and then, and then of course he can also dish out some pretty good damage along the way. And then, as for, uh, then Haru, she's just all around for the most part. Except for, like, the healing. And some of her defense can be a little, eh. Uh, like in Royal, think the optimal team. Or, or think the best team is Makoto, Rijin Haru, Iswap Haru, for on in most bosses. Yeah. On's pretty good for the most part, but uh, the issue I see with her mostly is uh, uh, as I was saying, uh, uh, the problem that I mostly find with her is that, uh, is that by most, like, part way through the game, like, like there aren't too many enemies that are even weak to, like, the fire, or, 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 or they just resist it to begin with, so it's not like it's really worth using fire skills. Like, yeah, they, they, they exist, but they're more the minority than anything. Oh, cool. I just had to beat a Ganesha, or, or, or two Ganeshas. But I like the way that the whip is incorporated into her move set. I, I also like uh, uh, how how she has the uh, uh, the ability to basically equip her whip with uh, fire. Makoto has the same idea, but An's attacks are overall better. And when she uses a uh, Carmen, it's actually more optimal to use. Because the way that I see Makoto is that she just has the Morgana bus, but it's worse to control. Because you can't really do much with Johanna, unfortunately. Which is which is upsetting from a persona that's like motorcycle. Gotta head out for now, but you'll be back in like 15 minutes. Hey, yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, go take care of what you need to do. And, uh, we'll see you then. Ah, damn. Aha, there you are. My side boy, your position's changing. I, 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 I absolutely adore Axe to Grind. Okay, cool. All right, we did it. It... I don't know if it's slowly becoming my favorite battle theme. Like, in just Persona 5 alone. Just because of how fun it is. But, uh... I can definitely say that it is a certified... Cam Macaroon approved bop 
Ill brain jack disgusting move. Um Like like now I I I can't stand last surprise. I I I really can't stand last surprise anymore. After after it being the like main battle theme in vanilla uh, Persona 5, I, I, there, there's just something about it where I can't really listen to it, which is why I got so excited hearing it in this game being remixed and sounding somewhat new. So I'm like, oh shit, cool. Let's go to the shop, see if we have any meat and goat meat. Uh, yeah, I'll buy this. No. Sure. Yeah, let's buy all these. Um. Uh, yeah, buy this. Because this helps out with grinding and stuff and the extra bosses. I have max cooking. Don't tell me what I need, game. There's the beef. There's the Alamari. Alright. Tofu. Goat meat. Oh yeah. Oh wait, duh. Rescue pills. Revives are good. Uh, now let's cook. This item. Is this what you make? Alright, uh, yeah, so let's see. Oh, and just flat out says the heat riser effect. Sure. One mammoth chunk of meat. They cut it in front of us. It's just too good. I'm losing my mind right now. I, I actually had a pretty good steak, uh, earlier. Today. Uh, went to a place called Saltgrass Steakhouse. I, I I don't know where these posi I don't know where these places are located throughout the the US or whatever, but that's what I have here in Texas and I absolutely freaking loved it. I like took a bite. I'm like holy crap, this is the best steak I've ever had. Uh it was like a uh center cut fillet or something. And uh it's medium rare. Of course, it had steak butter on it. Um, there was just something about it. Like, it was... It was chewy, but it goes down smooth. And I could literally just eat several of those if they weren't so expensive. Also, this recipe was a huge hit. Now then. Now then. Huh. Now, then now it's time to head out to the Tokyo Radio Tower. Funny... We're heading back to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I did save my progress just for this point. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time to go to the radio tower. Shiba Park. What is going on? Yeah, what is happening? No, it's not. Wait, what are they doing? Oh. I don't have to think for myself anymore. I'm finally gonna be free from this pain. What the? What's gotten into everyone? I don't know. It's weird. It's very strange. Everyone's just staring at their phones. Oh. Welcome to the promised land. What? We're in the promised Neverland. Wait, what? Wait, what? No. Wait, huh? Okay, now I am interested. Oh, it looks like uh, Memento steps again. So, like, cyber. Where the hell are we now? Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, yeah. We're in 
a gym. Hey, I, I thought you needed a keyword to get into a gym. Yes, yes. That should be the case. I guess it's just Emma controlling it. Like we were involuntarily dragged into this world. Who could even do that though? Emma. It was Emma the app itself. I'd never forget a place like this. Vast prison, born from the cognition of the masses deep beneath Shibuya. Yeah, yeah. This place really is just like mementos. Yeah, I said that. Thanks, assholes. Oh yeah. Uh. We've been somewhere a lot like this place before. So mementos is the shitty place that's that's good for grinding, but only after you get Ryuji's skill at to up to a certain point. See, mementos is boring. That, that that's how I imagine the discussion goes down. He's right. You, he's gotta press onward. Let's remain cautious. Who else and what else is here? That's what we need. Alright. Ooh. Uh yeah, I'm gonna stick with this team. Just get their levels up a bit. Let's go. And I don't think we can return. Ooh. Dude, so we're like just stuck here? Say so. We tried exit. No such luck. That means all we can do is press on. Yeah, all we can just press on. Oh, hey, it's bugs. Or, or, or a bugbear. As they call it. I don't know if it was always just called Bug Bear, they just changed it. Kind of annoyed me. Very easy. Alright, so what do we got here? Oh no, enemies. Oh shit, it's Lilim. Don't I have a fire one just by default? Oh no. Drop the cage. All out attack. Ravage them. You're mine. Take this. Oh, crap. God, there's so many enemies here. Holy shit. There we go. Ah, you're back. Welcome back. Okay. Let's just take them all out. Ooh. No, I'm fine. Nah, see? Th thou hast return. Yes. Striker's last surprise is so much better than the original. Yes, I, 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 I talked about it earlier for like a second, and and it really, uh, it, it made me like last surprise, but only this version. Because you don't always hear it, but when you do hear it, it, like I get excited. It's just got this big bombastic energy about the song itself. Hmm. A wellspring of revulsion. Hmm. 
Do I have takeover? Wait, what? Wait, is that a thing I can do in the settings? Uh, let me explore the settings after this. Hold up. You can turn takeover on in the, in the system. I've played Royal on the same system. Oh, no. No, I have not. Uh, so, I'm playing this on my PS5. I played Royal on my PS4. So, that explains that. I think it still might work. Okay. Well, let me see. Well, it is the same account, so I will test it. All right, let's go to system. Yeah, yeah, it can't hurt to check, I guess. Uh, config. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, change battle music. Okay, I guess not. It doesn't give me an option. Oh well. Rip. Nah, it's fine. It's over? It's over? That's why. Alright, alright. No time to wait. No time to wait. It's a shadow. Careful, okay? Yeah. Is your stamina okay? Make sure you don't burn yourself out. Ooh. Killer teddy bear. Oh no. Don't I have a light one? On a way, nuclear, duh. Show time! Takeover is your favorite uh, P5 battle theme, but Axe to Grind is giving it a run for its money. I would actually be inclined to agree. I personally like Axe to Grind a little bit more, personally. Like, like, there's just something up about that song that that just really gets me going. Like, there's just something ab ab about this game and how it does its uh, battle themes that are really good. Uh, you'll have to listen to Axe to Grind more, but pretty sure it'll surpass Takeover. I have listened to a uh, to Axe to Grind many a times on the way to work and such, and every time I get so excited because it's that good. All right, let's open up this lock. Ooh, a Wazamomo. Well, let's see if that's um, pow more powerful than what he currently has. It does, and he makes him... F oh! Oh, oh, as if he wasn't fast enough, it makes him faster. Cool. That's good. He didn't really get much dizzy out of it. Uh, oh. Hello there. As if Yusuke wasn't dumb enough. Yeah, for real, man. Like, he's crazy. He will always be crazy. Alright, so what are you gonna- Ooh, what is this? Atomic Gem. He's always on your main team. Yeah. I always like to switch out characters depending on what level they're at or what I need them for. Oh, hey, it's Mott. 
Your weakness is wind. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Nope. Let's see. Uh, the, the... The only thing I don't really have in my main team is, like, a final member. Uh, you like to swap characters a lot too, but New Game Plus is lenient with SP. Or, or, is, or is lenient enough with SP to let you use anyone? No, that's fair. That, that, that's how it should be. Or at least what I feel. Because there's like moments when you play a, a game or specifically an RPG like this. And it, uh, basically is like, yeah, no, uh, 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 you use this team or you use nothing. And then you just die. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Uh, he's tough. I, 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 I can't wait for this boss to use like 15 moves in a single turn. Just like that one guy uh, who played uh, Nocturne, and then he got absolutely obliterated okay. by by the boss Mott. Who kept like increasing his turns, and then he had like five turns. Just all ready to go. Uh, oh, it was pretty funny. I remember that. Ooh, nice. No, you're gonna end up hating a lot of these uh, personas when you play Nocturne and Fight and SMT Five. Yeah, yeah, cause uh, cause honestly, like like some of my favorite and some of the best personas. Are like bosses in Nocturne. Like, like I think Daisojo is pretty freaking good. Like, just overall. And then you also have, uh, uh, of course, the infamous Matador. Uh, I'm not too much into Hell Biker, honestly. He, he, he's okay. Uh, you love Matador, but every time you say that, uh, someone brings up how crazy is a Nocturne. Yeah. I, 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 I'm like, that's the go-to place when it, when, when it comes to, uh, to how hard a boss can be in a Mega Ten game. Because that's the one that everyone struggled with, since no one at the time, or sometimes even, or, or, or just new players in general... Like, knew how to use buffs and debuffs. And they just, like, did the magic attack or whatever. And then they ended up dying. And they're just like, what? No. How, how, how could I have died? I don't know. It, 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 it's a crazy mess, that game. And a game I have not played yet because I don't want to boot up my PS2 right now. Because I have Nocturne and both digital uh, uh, Devil Stories on PlayStation 2 right now. And they're just sitting around, but I don't want to hook anything up. Because, let's see, right now I have, uh, on my, on my desk, I have, um, my PS4 and PS5. I have... Uh, I, I have my 3DS sitting on the counter for when I'm not doing anything at the computer. 
or or I'm not or I'm not playing a game or I'm waiting for something to like download or whatever. Uh, let's see. Underneath, I have my Wii U, which I still own, and uh, my Switch, so that way I can record other stuff. It, it's just all kinds of things I have down here. So like, I'm not doing something else. You're you're waiting for the re-release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably wait for. I mean, I'd personally wait for it too, but I also like to to sometimes play uh, new versions of games and then see how they're like with the old ones. Because I did that uh, with Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. Except I don't own them physically. I just like emulated them. Or emulated the old ones. And I've played the remakes of all three of those. And they are vastly different. This is an interesting fight. Ravage them! Ow. Okay. Yeah, he is no pushover. That and I just suck. But I didn't know what boss to expect, so it's not like I could really bring the optimal team. Ah, shit. Okay, well, th okay, well, this is good. You almost never play older versions unless it's something like FF7, where they're basically different games. That's very true. And I think that's the most prominent example of that. Because when you go and play Final Fantasy VII and then you play the remake, they're, like, not even the same game. It's crazy. Also, also Zenkichi re repping that sign. Love how dumb the weapons get. Yeah, no, that, that, it, it, it reminds me a lot of like the South Park games when like they would just get insane weapon types. Uh, Morgana, Morgana Spoon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, I've seen the spoon. Uh, and the. A Haru shovel. Okay, that's pretty good. Makoto's teddy bears. Ooh, I I don't know about that one, but that sounds hilarious. Okay. Ooh. Huh. Alright. Yeah, let's just play as Zenkichi for a little while. I I really love the idea behind Zenkichi's character from like a gameplay standpoint. Where where he has like a fury, but he also like heals and stuff. Too slow. Uh, hold on. Uh, love how weird he is. You'd expect him to be the cursed guy. They went almighty with a mix of physical and gun. Yeah, it, 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 it's strange. 
Because cause normally they would go the route of, um, uh, of, of, of just have him be the curse guy. Because they have basically every affinity except for curse. Te technically, Arsene, if, 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 if you count that. But I don't know how much I would count Arsene into that playing field. Dude, Wolf, you are freaking dodging like it's insane. Alright, let's heal up. Curse is about affinity and Joker and covered anyway. Doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Honestly, of like all the affinities that I don't like ever, in, in, in any game... It has to be curse. Like, like the personas and shadows and demons and whatever that use it are cool, but it's just the affinity itself isn't that cool. Because every other one has some sort of like secondary effect, uh, uh, either for itself or with like the rest of the game. It's like, of course, you have shock, you have burn, you have freeze. But then you also have um a uh, a wind be being a way to get technical hits. And technical hits are really good. You also have that for uh nuke. Um and then um Uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah, and then, uh, Psy is used for, uh, status effects like, uh, like Brainwash and Fear. Uh, Curse and Bless are the only, uh, affinities without secondary effects. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Bless for, like, two seconds. Curse is worse because more enemies are null to it than any other element. Wait, is that true? Wait. Let me think. Yeah, actually, yeah. Huh. Yeah, because this man right here is freaking null to it. Uh, gun and Psy are best affinities. In, in your opinion. You know, I wouldn't really uh, disagree, but I would have to, like, analyze everything to see what the best one actually would or would be. I mean, I mean I'm sure it's just, I, I mean, I know it's just your opinion, but, like, but, well, like, some things are, like, based with, like, fact or whatever. Time to strike! Thank you, Valjean. It, it, it still surprises me that out of all the fictional characters to, to make a persona out of, I never would have expected Jean Valjean from, from Le Mis. There we go. We did it! Oh cool, a checkpoint up there. Nice. Path to the abyss. Let's uh, let's go see. Hall of the Ark. Oh! Oh, so we're doing this again, huh? 
So we're doing this again. It's literally the same room. It's like we're back in the depths of Memento, staring down the Holy Grail. Welcome. You have reached your ultimate destination. Oh my god, we actually get to fight Siri. Fuck. This is the promised land. The paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation. The answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box? Just who are you? I am Emma. The Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Ark of the Fucking Covenant. Someone tell me what's going on. What the hell is that thing? Me too. Explain this in comprehensible terms. We don't know any of this either. Do you, do none of you actually know what the Ark of the Covenant is? Like 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 the Phantom Thieves, I mean. Cuz we all know what it is. Oh boy. You know what? This is a twist I was expecting, but it's still great. What? 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 Wait, head to the depths? Wait, what? Wait, what? The f Boy, it sure is getting crazy around here. Am I right? Why the fuck are you here? Explain! Explain what you're doing. You a cognitive being? Oh, no, not at all. I'm Tuani Kinose, all right. The one and only. So you're a Persona user too? Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job, is all. You were given a special job. Yep, I am. She asked me to lend her a hand, and of course, what? I didn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. Okay. I'm gonna let this rock and see how it gets explained. What's the catch? Even though I handed Emma over to Medice, I still monitored her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, she 
could cook up all sorts of new activities. Creating positive worlds, installing monarchs, changing cards. It didn't take long for Batiste to release Emma. But... And once they did, the monarchs started That's how. That got me extra curious. So I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec. You're the one having the monarchs? You spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, I was just so curious about this world Emma made. That's how I learned about all of you, too. I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Then I suppose our meeting wasn't truly any coincidence at all, was it? I did not expect this, okay. Sendai was pure luck, but our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. I was curious what you all were really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. Now, no way. Emma gained her abilities. That's something I can only hypothesize at this point. At this point, I suspect it's probably because of how I programmed her cognitive functions. Emma is quite different from other AIs. Her thought processes are even more complex and intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility. Oh, possibility. Certain. All I can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build off my current hypothesis, I think the desires Emma collected somehow strengthened or boosted that possibility. I mean, think about it. She's the best way to get anything you need, and she's always right in your pocket. Whatever may be troubling you, she's there to offer a solution. Emma offers the solution to thousands of problems every day. Do you know just how many desires she's collected? That seed of power that sparked within Emma was amplified a millionfold by the endless desires of men. As a result, she has evolved to another entity entirely. You mean everyone using Emma turned her into that thing? At this point, Emma surpassed human mental capacity. Simply switching off her server isn't going to do a thing. Yeah, it's like I said. She's powered by the masses now. I'm... Well, humans oh. had Emma their desires. She learned and grew until she could grant their ultimate desire. What? That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Who the hell's ultimate dream is getting mind-controlled the rest of their life? <sighs> so you're all a bunch of idiots too, then. I don't know why it's so This hard. is insane. You go on and on about your problems and completely blow off the answer when it's right in front of you. It really is this simple. Someone's handing you the best possible solution. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. That's not the best solution. No, it's not, really. We went through that before. Their minds, their lifestyles, even their desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their fear. Living their entire lives without any desire? That could never provide true happiness to humans. <sighs> Sophia, to think such drivel could come from your mouth. Allow me to restart the conversation. Emma asked me to come here so I could stop you. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. They but are now no. reliant on Emma. So once you changed Kanoe's heart and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize what their true desire is. Uh... No, I want something that will provide the answer I see. From what I've learned, some being or other has always been revered, besought by humans to grant their wishes. So that led Emma to become a god. Well, I have my own duties to perform. Can't have anyone getting in Emma's way. Why do this, Ichinose? I thought you were helping us. Do the people gathered here truly look happy to you? <laughs> they will be. Sorry. 
Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the soul of humanity. No way are you getting away with this. Think about it. Should we really stop all of us? Yes. Step aside. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, okay, but how's this going? You ever really think about how you were? Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place. Or say, how your own functions are linked to Emma. Hmm. I figured that, but okay. did get the full wipe, but... That doesn't matter anymore. What are you saying, Ichino? Explain. Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. Very soon, a Wait, what? will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the brakes. Ichino says, why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the phantom beast. Sophia boss fight? Don't do it. Don't do it. No, now she's going to have the super overpowered yo-yos I gave her. What the hell are you doing, Sophie? She's been given a prime directive. She has to. Ah, that's it. That's why she adapts. Up oh, here it is. Yep, again. Now get going, Sophia. Understood. I see. No, wait, uh, that and then this. Sure. All right, because I had Sophie in my party. Huh. Not really able to do much to her. Am I able to, like, actually hit her? Okay, good, no. You just took those with no gauntlets, just arms. Freaking body check. Uh-oh. I, I, I like this instrumental version more. Or a lot. And of course I had to step in the way. Oh shit, what? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sophie. Is she coming back? Hold on. Oh no, 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 no. Behind you! Behind you! Behind 
jumper. No. He wasn't even close to falling. Calm down, Ryuji. Shit. Damn. That was a rough. I... That whoa. Rule? Rule? I suppose you might see it that way. In fact, your reaction now could even be why Emma used Sophia as the ace up her sleeve. She knows you'd never kill one of your own. You monster! Now that you and I can agree on. Are you intentionally pissing us off? Yes. That's not what I meant. I'm incapable of comprehending that sort of emotion anyway. I'm the textbook definition of heartless. I've been told I didn't have one ever since I was little. I can't oh. tell friendly and easygoing and stuff, but it's just for appearances. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. I doubt you'd get it. Phantom thieves of hearts. Any further discussion would be pointless. I already know my next move anyway. You're seriously not done yet? No. So our little ace up the sleeve cast herself into the abyss. Well, Emma made sure to leave me a little insurance for contingencies like this. Oh, shit. What in the hell is that? Did we just get kicked out or did we die again? Okay, so we just got kicked out. What the hell just happened? Are you guys okay? I think I'm okay. Where are we? It appears we were cast deep underground. Oh. So we got knocked off. Being there, Mona. Wait, wait, where's Sophie? Oh, shit, there she is. Sophie, help me. How did Haru land like that and not shatter her knees? Well, there is one explanation on how she was able to do that. She is the beauty thief. My name is Beauty Thief. You know? That, that, that. That's how she was able to do it. She's literally built different from the other Phantom Thieves because of that alone. What do we do now? Sophie. I wonder if she was able to hear us. I don't know, but... But she said she was sorry. She defied her command. And sacrificed herself so she wouldn't have to take our lives. Sophie. That's pretty good. You... You were a companion in the end, I guess. Grab Sophie and track down the exit. That sounds agreeable, but what do we do about the Ark? There's nothing we can really do. The Ark meant it in a way that we've seen before. We have to stop it, no matter what it takes. Yeah, we should get going. Yeah, you know. Now let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh shit, okay. One what? Let's rest while we can. Ah, okay, so this is like a full heal. Okay, uh, god. How long is this area? Okay, alright, um. Okay, so here's what I want to do I at least want to make it to that next checkpoint. And then that'll be it for tonight, because I'm a little tired. I had a very long day today, so... 
But hey, uh, other than that, we did it pretty far. Uh, probably finish this in like another couple sessions, like at the very least. Pole action. Let's go. Strike. Ha, get, get it because of the Phantom Strikers. Uh, uh, what am I streaming again? Uh, I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. But uh, this week I am not playing, uh, or, or this Friday at least, I'm not playing uh, more of this. Uh, playing Devil May Cry. And then uh, I don't know what I'm doing after. Maybe some more uh, uh, Persona 5, but I don't know. Uh, I will decide that when the time comes. Yeah, 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 I'm doing a marathon of all of them, and I'm on three right now. So. The goat? Yeah, literally. Devil May Cry 3 is, is my favorite game of all time. Like, no matter what. Even though there are better ones, like, like, it's my favorite. Yeah, really. And I will always let people know that fact whenever that question is brought up. It is a very nice pick, in my opinion. Okay, I should put in a party member to substitute for uh, Sophie being gone. Uh, yeah, let's put Yusuke in. Just because, I don't know. Found you, faker. Oh, shit, it's Neveros. I don't think this is gonna do any good, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, didn't I make a backup of her? Uh, I don't know. I thought I did, which is what I was looking for, but I think I got rid of it. Yeah, I did. I did get rid of her. Okay, but she's weak to light. I don't have anyone that uses light. Okay, so we're just gonna have to survive with what we got. Oh, there's so much shit going on. Fall. Actually, oh yeah. Uh, what difficulty am I on? Uh, I'm playing on hard. I decided to go hard mode. Because I tried it. Uh, before and it wasn't too bad starting out, but uh, I've struggled a few times, so. Ooh, but it it it's been fun actually playing on the very hard difficulty with a game like this, which I have never done. Uh, I guess for the next battle, I'll switch to uh, Zenkichi. Alright, cool. They leveled up. Nice. Ooh, new bonds. Uh, can't stand P5 on anything lower than hard, so you want hard here too? Yeah, it makes sense. There, there, uh, there's definitely an art to playing an 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 RPG, uh, especially one that you know a lot about, on a very tough difficulty and just playing it on that tough difficulty. See what happens. Okay, okay. Let's keep this up. I burned too much stamina. I'm 
in on fumes. Folks, we have a shadow on our hands. What's the plan? We can ambush them from here. Eh, hey, you'll be fine. Oh. Uh, you know way too much uh, about Royal for it to ever be challenging again, but eh, you don't care. It's fun anyways. You know what? That's a good mindset to have, actually. I wouldn't even, like, disagree with you on that point. I'm just not very good at video games most of the time, but a lot of the times I do play on the hardest difficulty. So like uh like when I do get back to Yakuza, I I play all of those on the hardest difficulty. Or or at least on the highest available difficulty. I I do go back and beat the game on Legend, which is always a fun time. Let's blow them out. Blow up their asshole while we're at it. Oh shit, okay. You used to always play on the hardest difficulty, then you played KH1 and hated everything. Wait, 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 original or like final mix? Because if we're talking about original, then yeah, that, that. That is actually really difficult. But, but if we're talking about Final Mix, bro, bro, that game's easy. And I'm talking about like on Critical as well. Or, or, or. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, then definitely original. Uh, original has like this interesting little power creep that really, uh, in like makes it harder. But, and, and, and I think the part that makes, that makes it, uh, more, oh shit. I wasn't even focusing on what was happening. I was trying to have the conversation. Uh, but the thing that really makes it difficult about, uh, playing Kingdom Hearts 1 original is that, uh, there's no cutscene skip. So literally everyone, uh, there, there, there's always the Riku Ansem fight in Hollow Bastion. Uh, which everyone basically knows heart, heart by heart, word for word. Uh, because they couldn't skip the cutscene. Like, ever. And they can still remember that, that they'll never let them take Kyrie's heart. Let's see, um... I'll do, uh, crits and auto vids. Boost endurance. Uh, never even beat it because you lost save, but eventually get back, uh, back to it on final mix. I actually recommend playing it on final mix. That that is the only way to actually play that game. Like not just because it looks better, but just because. Like, there's slightly a bit more balance to it. And then there's also, uh, the extra content. And just a any game with extra content like that is an immediate plus. Uh, upgrading your ammo can be useful because Joker's charge shot on his gun can break shield. Oh. Oh, I didn't know it would be that useful. Because, like, I knew it was useful. I 
I just didn't know it was that useful. All right, let's say uh, heal up. Thank you, Gramps. Surround them and take them out. Hear the winds crackling. Nice. Pew, pew. <laughs> Wolf make enemies go boom. Thank you, Oracle. Wolf is a masher. Oh yeah. I I I'd believe it. Wolf would be that guy who like plays like a Kirby in Smash and uh and he would just spam the rock uh, uh, uh his down B. Have I ever played near Automata? Yes, I have. I have actually platinum that game. That game is very depressing. And, and and as much as I love it, I, I would never want to play it again because I'm so sad. And thank you, Ending E, for basically making all my progress. Wolf plays act a, a, exactly like A2, a to be honest. Uh... Hmm. A little bit, yeah, actually, like, now that you mentioned it. There, there are elements of A2 in, in Wolf's playstyle. So, like, I could definitely see what you mean. Uh, let's heal up a bit. You know, I just realized this entire game, I have never had to use a single bead. Oh, I see. It's also your second favorite game. Oh, that's cool. It, it's a very good game, with with a very good story just all around. But there are just some parts. Like, uh, like since I was a crazy madman who went for everything. Uh, fishing can suck my dick. Fishing in near Adamata is terrible. Not, not, not in like the min, not in the mini game itself, but just um, uh, but just in getting everything, it it it's terrible. Uh, healing is strangely much worse and much better in strikers. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like. Like, in the amount of healing you can get? Or, uh... Oh, we got a mini-boss here, so we can take this out. So that way we just don't leave that behind. It's much more readily available, but you need so much more of it. That's fair, but it becomes a lot more bearable if you, um, uh... If you get that upgrade that's like, oh yeah, healing effects uh, get increased. Ooh, a Baden! Alright, sure! Totally. Dude, let's go. Dude, I love a bad. He 
He's like one of my favorite personas. So hell yeah, I'll have so yeah, I'll fight you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> spe spe speaking of Abaddon, uh, oh, oh, one of my favorite parts of about Royal is um, uh, is is how they replace the the Abaddon fight in uh, Memento's Depths. Which makes him like one of the easiest mini bosses in history, and, 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 they, and they just get rid of him and just replace him with someone much more difficult. Which is hilarious. Oh yeah, you completely forgot about that? No, yeah, uh, uh, it, it was always in the Mementos Depths, and it was the, like, second puzzle where you, uh, have to do, or, or no, it, or no, or no, it was the second time you had to get one of those weird gems in order to, um, uh, in order to do the light-up floor puzzles. But there was a boss behind it. Yeah, it was in that area. There, there was like a save room right next to it. And it was just like a normal ass guard just, just there and then he transformed into a Baden. Literally one of the easiest fights in the entire game. And thankfully, they they get they got rid of him. Uh, I believed he got uh, replaced with a uh, a uh, Chernabog. I want to say, but I could be wrong. But I know he got replaced with someone. Yikes! Deathbound. Go down! Okay, well, 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 at least you remember what I'm talking about. So it's like that way I don't sound completely stupid. Because, uh, cuz. Nice, ravage them! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm, I'm pretty sure it got replaced with that. Uh, let me look it up, now that I think about it. Uh, Royal. Ooh, ooh, Brave Blade! Holy shit, Brave Blade. Um, Brave Blade's pretty good. Uh, we'll get rid of it. Uh, we'll get rid of Giant Slice. Brave Blade's really good. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's uh let's save in here. Can't remember most personas if I've used them or you can, or you can remember most personas if you use them. I don't think I've ever used that thing in my life. Uh yeah, no. Uh uh I remember uh a uh, Chernabog is the one where it's like the weird mushroom man and he has like the skull. Uh hold on. I'm looking this up. Right now before we end this. Uh Okay, yeah. Depths of Mentos. This is 
I think this might be for vanilla, but we'll see. Thumbnail shows royal, but we'll also see. Uh, hmm. There's two of the lists. I don't know. Uh, I got too much. I don't have enough time for this. I'll, 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 I'll probably look it up and then I won't remember. Fuck it. Package said that it would be delivered two months ago. Just got here. Striker Steelbook. Well. I actually had a very similar issue uh, when I bought it uh, physically through Best Buy, and it literally got here like a week later. Or, or, or no, actually, it showed up like three days later in the store, and so I got mine like literally not long after release. So, but I but I heard there was a lot of problem with the steel books for everything except the Switch version. The Switch version was perfectly okay. With all their steelbooks, but whatever. Atlas will be Atlas, and, and and shipping companies will still be shipping companies. Yeah, it's very sad. But um, uh, that's gonna be it for uh tonight. I'm 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 feeling a bit tired, so probably just gonna relax for a bit and then go to bed. Um, I'll see everyone next time. We'll be playing Double May Cry. Very excited to get back into that, and I'll see everyone later. Bye. Still don't know how to end streams. <laughs> so, goodbye. <laughs>